Bhima by Abhinandanath Tagore is a part of modern Indian arts history. Abhinandanath was the most important modernist artist we had at the beginning of the 20th century. He belonged to a family of great innovators. Of course, the most well-known of them was Rabindranath Tagore, who was his uncle. The painting was gifted to Dhirendra Prashnadev Burman at the time of his marriage, probably in 1925. Like many other paintings of his time, has a single figure. And we see the person seated very close to the frame. And we know that he is a poet, probably thinking of maybe the lines he wants to inscribe. He is a person who is wearing a kind of costume which puts him in an oriental frame. At the back of this painting, we have a line there, the ode by Arthur of Shadnasi, who was active in the 19th century. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams, world losers, world forsakers, on whom the pale moon gleams. We are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems. In The Dreamer, we are forced to focus on those little details that he wants you to focus. Maybe the eye, maybe the details of his face. So he does something with the wash technique, which allows you to subsume parts of the painting and then bring some parts of it into the attention of the viewer. Wash technique is something that Avanins are developed. He is adding to his foundation of European training other elements that comes from the Mughals, that comes from the Japanese, and in a sense, he becomes part of the pan Asian movement. And in this picture, because he's using a very close knit group of colors between ochres and browns, so the atmosphere and the figure is much more closely integrated. Probably nobody used the the wash technique as masterfully as Abhinandran did. Besides being a great painting, it is also an object that is part of our history.